Hey guys, Kill Stokes here. Welcome back to another midweek markup video. Last week went a little bit long. Today we're going to keep things short and sweet because, well, there isn't too much happening in the markets. It's the, the end of summer. It's the end of a month. We got an FOMC press conference and statement tomorrow. So the markets have been kind of blah. So we're going to focus on something longer term. I'm going to show you two bigger setups that are uh, setting up here on the Euro Yen. Now, before we get started, uh, we just started promoting this the other day, but coming up on August, 9th we have a free five-day online trading workshop you can register for called bridging the gap it's gonna be an awesome experience um, it's better if you can attend live you're gonna get the most value out of it that way but if you can't make sure you're registered anyway that way we can mail you the recordings each and every day once they're completed also we're gonna give uh, be giving away some pretty cool uh, free giveaways, uh, some of which I'm gonna show you in this video today. So make sure you're registered and make sure you attend that way you can be in the running to get those as well. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but what we're looking for here on the Euro Yen is gonna be two advanced pattern formations and in specifically gonna be the cipher formation. Now, um, bigger picture, just to share a few some of the stuff we've been looking at for a while here in Euro Yen is we've been looking for a head and shoulders pattern that just hasn't really completed yet, right? You can see the, the left shoulders right there, the heads down here. We thought we had a right shoulder, but we haven't really gotten any follow through. We've consolidated like most of the pairs in the market are doing. But ideally, uh, this head and shoulders would give us a violation to the upside and a little bit of a, a move higher um, with the anticipation of us running to about the 131 level, which lines up with a previous level of structure looking left. Um, that doesn't necessarily, you know, relate to the cipher pattern, but that move would give favor to the potential pattern forming uh, as well, which is why I want to bring it up. But what we're looking here for in the cipher pattern is a four point move in the market. And the first point is going to be our initial X to A leg. And this is going to be our sore thumb swing in the market. So you can see this last swing point in the market. I call it a sore thumb because it should pop out to you. I know that's an American term. We say it sticks out like a, a sore thumb. I don't know where that's from. Probably some some cartoon where someone gets hit with a mallet or a sledgehammer, um, but any type of swing point extension that really pops out to you in a chart is gonna be a good place to start looking for X to A legs. That A to B leg is gonna be that first retracement. So you can see the pullback after that extension. And then in the cipher pattern specifically, the B to C move is gonna be another extension, right? In many of these advanced pattern formations, you're looking for a, a, a pullback, so another short move. The cipher is actually gonna be a longer move, so something similar to an equal measure move or an AB equal CD pattern for that C leg. And then finally, we're gonna get a big pullback, right, for our C to D completion. And this decompletion is where we're looking for the cipher to complete at. If you're aggressive, you're putting your, your limit orders and your entries right there. If you're more conservative, you're looking at this as a zone, right? The starting point of our potential pattern formation right here, or the, I guess the, the completion point, the, the start of the completion point, there we go, um, all the way to the previous structure high being our X leg right there. And you're looking for uh, an opportunity to get involved inside that zone. And it's important to understand that uh, although these patterns can be used as trend continuation moves, if, if they're in alignment with kind of your, your overall analysis of the market, in many cases, they're more of a, a quick counter trend type of setup, right? We mostly see them in, in periods of consolidation. So you're not looking for any type of glorious thousand pip move. You're looking to be in, you're looking to be out at one or two different target levels. Um, and then you're looking for the next opportunity. So we do have a cipher here on Euro Yen completing right at 3160s. You can keep your eye out for. And then if we go to the daily, right, if we go a little bit higher, we're gonna have a bigger one as well. I already have the cryptographer on, so I'm gonna kind of cheat here. And uh, this is gonna be one of the, the giveaways that we're gonna be doing at the, the live workshop uh, in a few weeks. But if I click my Enigma toolbar right here and just click live on, I like to do this manually because I, you know, I'm one of those people where I think if I if I don't use the skill, um, I'm gonna forget it. And, and I've been doing this way before we had this kind of uh, cool technology. Uh, but if we click that, it's actually gonna identify the pattern for me. You can see a bigger one here in the Euro Yen, same exact pattern, um, just a little bit bigger um, and starting at a different point. So our X leg is gonna be 134.13s. Same thing though, swing high to swing low is gonna be our X to A. Our A to B is gonna be that first pullback. Our B to C extension is actually gonna be the same leg. So the C leg is gonna be the same for both pattern formations. But again, because we have a different starting point, the completion for this cipher is gonna be a little bit higher up at about 
13290s instead of that 13160s and same thing if you're aggressive limit order goes right there if you're more conservative you're looking for your entry reason somewhere in this zone now some of you may be saying well keeled um you know i have two patterns on my chart which one do i trade and, and, and this um this is very important to understand this is a concept we've covered uh, obviously all the time on the platform and the training courses and whatnot but here on youtube as well is you need to be consistent in your analysis, right? I say it all the time. Consistent analysis plus consistent execution equals consistent results, meaning that if you're consistent in how you view the market and you're consistent in what you take and how you take it, you're not self-sabotaging, doing dumb stuff like that, you're gonna see consistent results, right? Results that are consistent with your expectations. And part of consistent analysis is deciding what time frame you trade on. Are you a four hour trader? Are you a daily trader? Are you an hourly trader? You shouldn't be someone that's jumping around from one to another um, all the time, right? I, I put out a tweet this morning um, talking about how the markets were slow and, and can someone please find the remote and unpause them for me? And I got some responses that of people just like fishing for action. Like, well, Keel, if we go down to the minute chart, I bet we can find something. I'm like, yeah, you, you probably can. You'll probably find something that's gonna take your money, right? You, you, you don't wanna go hunting for trades. You wanna stick to your very specific time frame, which is part of your very specific trading plan and only take the grade A trading opportunities that stand out for you. So you should have a plan that tell you, tells you what exactly you can trade, when exactly you can trade it, what time frames you're trading on and you need to be consistent with that approach. Um, and every once in a while, you are going to find yourself in a situation where maybe you have overlapping patterns, and that's just something that you have to have a rule for. Do you take the smaller one? Do you take the bigger one? Do you take one setup over another setup? Um, do you take both of them, right? Your trading plan is your business plan, right? Um, it, it does evolve over time. Um, and over time, as you get scenarios that maybe you don't have an answer for in your trading plan, that's something you want to add so that in the future, you can have a consistent way of approaching it. So... Short and sweet today. Um, if you guys like to do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. That way you don't miss the next video. Hopefully I'll be back this weekend for a weekend video. I was under the weather, stuck in bed on a Sunday with no voice, so I couldn't get anything out for you guys. Uh, but there wasn't really too much out there. Anyway, um, still shout out the email, forwarded you to the Trader Coffee Break episode, which was a great one talking about Edge and gave you a little bit of an update on my performance year to date. So uh, if you're not subscribed, if you're not on the email list, you don't get that type of stuff, so make sure you're in the mix um, if you'd like to follow what we do here. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the Trading Coach Podcast, which is back on YouTube. Um, and until next time, your trade, trade your plan. Take care.